Here's a tip. Hold E to hop the fence and you're not going to fall. And you're not even going to spend stamina, I don't think. Um, why did you... Holy... <laughs> oh, man. Hey survivors, welcome back. Uh, we're here to keep on with Wilfredo's walkthrough of winter today. If you're new here, I'm Traumanaut and this is the most casual series on my channel. And beginners, this is especially for you. Uh, I just talk through what I go through, uh, whatever the game has in store for us here. But veteran players, also feel free to stick around, of course. Pop in some more tips if you have any. I'm starting to see some familiar names in the comments lately with lots of great questions and some especially great tips or insights. Uh, so thank you for all who contribute comments. And hey, shout out again to the hundred or so people who've joined our humble little channel here in this last week with a subscribe. It's uh, very encouraging for me, keeps me going on this stuff. And uh, you know what? Let's keep going, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get out there. Let's push our luck a little bit today. So we always start these things off with, uh, oh, he's bored. He's bored of sleeping. Okay, uh, before we get out there, so today I want to do a bit of fighting. And to do a bit of fighting, I thought this would be the quick tip for today. Press escape, go into options, go into display, and just in the second, uh, in cursor here, your second category, aim outline. If you haven't seen this before, you're going to want to see it if you've been having trouble in combat. Aim with any weapon. Uh, let's see what that looks like. We're only a few days, we're, we're not quite yet two weeks into the apocalypse here. And that's good because the zombie population is still going up. Okay, so we're going to have fewer zombies to fight, so we should push harder in the early game, especially because we're in Muldrow, and we're in the quieter areas of Muldrow at that. Now this, we saw this last time, this neighborhood is pretty thick with the Zeds. Oh! And I already screwed it up. I'll show you what I mean. But, uh, so first thing... Oh, this is bad. Is this, is this the end right here? We're just getting started. Okay. So, these zombies are now outlined in green. Okay, and it would do that uh, with, with guns, I think, is the default setting. That it'll aim the, uh, the uh, sorry, it'll outline the zombies if you're aiming. Just a little distracted here. All right, so with guns, if you are not in a good range or you're not going to get a good hit, the zombies will not be so well. <laughs> oh, my God. They won't be such a bright, vibrant green color. They're going to be yellow or red if it's not going to be a good shot. With melee, though, it's probably going to be a good hit, and so usually they will be green. Pop a fence here. And that's just telling you who you're going to hit. Alright, really pushing my luck with those this fence hurting here. Uh, just because there's a lot of them. You can, so you can tell what I'm doing. I'm just trying to take them over the fence a couple times each. Uh, sorry, a couple times each side before I run away. I missed, I'm just going to run. So you see that they lunge at you after you uh, drop them over a fence, right? Now those lunges are really bad. They can scratch you on a lunge. They can knock you flat on your face in a lunge. Which in a situation like this is pretty deadly. So uh, don't do not do what I was doing there. It's kind of, maybe it's because it's early morning here. I'm not thinking straight. This is a lot of zombies. I should take them a little more seriously. Now this is some good spacing. So he's down. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? Someone scratched my armor. Alright. Early morning here. I'm not. I'm not thinking straight. Um, now I do want to kill them all, though. So let's see. If it's a good fight, I'll show it. If it's not a good fight, like if it just goes on and it's boring, um, I will probably cut it. There's just some good spacing, though. So we talked about conga line, getting them all up in a line. The, for fence fighting, it, it's a little different. You don't want them all pouring over the fence together. You want them spaced out. When they're on the ground, you're going to do some bonus damage to them. Oh, it's not really bonus damage, but you get to do kind of maximal damage to them. Oh, are we going to bring a few more into this party? Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. Well, let's run them around the house then. If we're lucky, we can pop open a window. Yes, that's perfect. Climb through that window. We're just going to do a quick in and out here. And that's just going to buy some time, space those Zeds out further so I can kite a few over... Yeah, this is going to be much better. Take these ones over the fence. Now this should be just easy. Oh, I missed even with the aim assist. Now that's kind of concerning. They were lit green. Why did I miss? Okay. Anyways, good. Bring you two. Now, could I take that one on my own? Yes. I don't need to do the fence trick, but I, apparently I need to practice here. So this is me practicing the fence trick. Some basic rules apply, right? When you got the cursor, you want the circle of the cursor to be on their feet. Or in this case, when they're on the ground, you want it on their head is best. Let's see. And they go down so easy if you can get them. Oh, 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 back over. So they go down so easy if you can get them on the ground. So in big numbers like this, just make sure you're landing on the heads. 
should be okay. Uh, I was trying to get him before he fell back down. Or sorry, before he got back up. And just like that. Alright, that's gotta be half the horde. The other half is still in the house. Ah, it's gonna... Alright, now we're exhausted. So I'm actually gonna leave. Okay, well, we'll take this one. Um, I remember one level of... Ooh! That's some... Good hits. Got a level out of that. Is this? This is not my house. Yeah, okay. This is some other house. We're gonna pa pass this one. This is a little bit of a buffer to that horde. I could probably safely sleep in that house. But I want to take Wilfredo through to winter. So I'm not gonna... Not gonna do a probably on that. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna move. Because I want to use this daylight. Kill some more Zeds. And, uh... Whoa! Okay, hi. Uh, we're actually not accepting visitors at this time, sir. Please kindly exit the building. You know what? Just because I said it, right-click, you can grab a corpse if you don't already know. And you can right-click, drop corpse. Okay, we're getting hungry. So let's just cook a steak while we're here. I don't get too fancy cooking meat. I know if I had a roasting pan... Oh, you know what? <laughs> okay. Did you see that? So I actually have a roasting pan. So let's just pick that up. I believe we can, yeah, create a roast from the steak here so i'm putting some steak in the pan uh, let's put some more steak in the pan now if you keep repeating the uh, the same item in a in a food dish after a certain point depending on your cooking skill i believe uh you'll actually start to reduce the happiness of the dish because it's all just more of the same uh so we'll look at that mix it up and uh, these stats get better happiness is five now happiness is ten i'm gonna try to put an avocado keep mixing it up Wilfredo is not much of a cook here. We don't do too much of it. Uh, okay, happiness did not get a boost. So uh, I'm just going to cook it as it is. I'm, I'm worried if I put more stuff in the, to the dish that uh, I'm actually going to make it boring. Okay, just because we don't do it too often, actually, little cooking refresher if you've never done this before. Uh, you can right-click on the oven to turn it on or off. See, turn off there. Or just on the little tooltip on the uh, inventory itself, you can click turn off. Again, I've got my inventories uh, with the pin icon. So you have this, uh, like, a drawer icon, I don't know, arrow thing, uh, or the pin. I like the pin because when I click off of it, they close, right? So I have better visibility, and then I hover, and boom, it pops open, and I leave. Uh, and it's just going to close next time I click. All right, so I turned the oven on. I put the food in. I could have just put a steak or, you know, meat. You can just cook it. You don't need a tray. Uh, steak and vegetable roast, fresh cooked. I can take this off. The hunger has gone from 64 up to 80. Now it says it's burning. Have a look. Have a look. I'm going to take it out because if it goes from burning to burned, it's bad. You lose, uh, the, not only do you lose the happiness and thirst, they actually go down to like minus 10 thirst and minus 20 happiness or something like that. All right, maybe I, I'll probably cut here. I'm going to run home, nap. All right, now let's eat not all of it because that's going to be a lot of probably wasted hunger value. We got 80 hunger on this thing. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to eat one quarter of it. So he's eating 20 points there. Now, of course, that's uh, one quarter. When you click that option, it's one quarter from full. So if I eat it again, it's going to go from 60 minus another 20. Okay, this is good. Going to try to get this one while it's down. Nice. Yeah, these are all going to go down. No problem, as long as I can land my hits. Look at that. Cleaning up neighborhoods faster than Batman here. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to start pressing up to the highway. Oh, did you hear that? Re Click the video, go back if you didn't. I'll give you before I tell you. What just happened? It's new, it's like only in the last two or three builds maybe that they introduced this feature. What just happened? The power went down, power's out, and we can hear now a power down sound. One of those kind of things. Uh, this is okay, I just want to spread them into a bit of a line. You know what, some of them haven't seen me yet. Okay, right, you see me now? Good. So I'm going to just spread them along the fence. So I'm up against the fence so that hopefully they have to get up along the fence, which will thin them out so that when I hop the fence at the end... Here's a tip! Hold E to hop the fence and you're not going to fall. And you're not even going to spend stamina, I don't think. Um, why did you... Oh! Holy! Oh man! Wilfredo's life just flashed before my eyes there. Let's see, what's the damage? Okay, and you heard the scratch. The armor protected him again. 
Oh, I'm just gonna recover from that. Oh my god. Now, I, personally, heartbeat's going a mile a minute here. I'm in a panic. Wilfredo, still just walking, right? Don't run when you're panicked, because that's how you die. Uh, that's how you get exhausted, rather, and then, you know, soon die thereafter if you haven't ditched him. Okay, so we got knocked down with a horde at our feet uh, because of that, that fence fighting. So I, I need to do more of this fence fighting, but I'm going to change it up here. I've got a shovel. It's not in great condition, but I'm going to use up what's left because the shovel has better range. And the way I'm playing right now, if I don't do this, Wilfredo's going to die. He... I'm putting him through a lot today. Now let's let's get a little uh, strength boost. What can we do for a strength boost here? Three, two, one. That's right. We're gonna eat some more steak, or you know, any food would do the trick. And uh, all this walking, it does serve a purpose. What is the purpose? That's right. Okay, I don't know why I'm asking so many questions today, but I hope you're sticking with it. Uh, we are thinning them out more and more and more. Now some of them are hopping the fence to get me. That's going to thin them out even more. Until we get to a point like this, where I'm like, okay. I've got my wits back. We're fed up. I should probably get a little more, actually get a boost, but I won't. Uh, we're fed up, so we're going to, we're going to take some of these fights. Now i got better range with this weapon. Alright, three kills. Now these ones are, they're getting ahead of me. In that, uh, you know, there were three of them stacked on top of each other. I'm not going to go over them and whack them all, because I'll only hit one in most cases. Yeah, she missed me. That's her loss. That one was kind of locked. Alright, go, go, go. Okay, so we're, we're making this neighborhood a better place. We've got about half of the ones in this group. Now, just to keep the episode short, this might be all that we do. Oh, go, go, go. Yeah. Might be all that we do, just a little bit more fence fighting. So, I hope you got some tips today. We are pressing over to the highway where the better loot is. We're doing it now because uh, the zombie, despite what you see, the zombie count is lower than it will eventually be. Uh, I missed again. Oh my gosh. They hit me again. Still no scratch. So the way I'm playing, this is this is not good. And you know what? If you've got a solo save, and you know you're not doing any cheats, uh, you know, revives, backup saves, that kind of thing, um, then oh, c -c -c combo! Oh my God! There it is. You know what? Alfredo must be feeling better than I am because that was awesome. Oh, another. So, okay, you know what? We've killed a couple whores. We got two groups after us now. Let's ditch the losers. And, uh... Let's just, let's just take the day easy. Alright, so I'm popping into the house. I'm popping out of the house. That just throws off where they think I am. Uh, their memory, I think they will... Now, I'm not a zombie AI expert. And I know some people have done some very close looks at this. Uh, maybe we'll do it in another deep dive once the new animation, or sorry, once the new build comes out. There's going to be some AI animal stuff in there. Uh, so I'm wondering if they're going to change anything about the zombie AI for that. But in any case, if you're familiar with the way that zombie AI works right now, please jump into the comments here. Let us know your thoughts or theories. I think unless you hop into a house, they actually kind of cheat. The zombies are aware of your location, even when you break line of sight uh, for a short time. They know not only where you were, but where you are, even when they can't see you. But when you go into a house, I, I think the game might cog that and the zombies will just know your previous location was a house and they'll go into the house and then if you're out, out of the house, then you've lost them. It's a great thing. Um, I'm not sure about that though. So pop into the comments if you think you've seen things about that. Uh, pop into the comments if you have any questions about the stuff we did today. You might have noticed I've got a new series, the kind of feature peak uh, series where we just look at new stuff or important stuff. Um, and here's what I did. I'll tell you now. I cheated. Okay, so in these walkthrough videos, YouTube will tell me... Oh, the power's out. I'm, try I'm trying to turn on the light. It's not going to turn on. Anyways, YouTube tells me what moments are people jumping to when you jump to in the progress bar uh, a certain topic. What 
are people searching that brings them to these videos. And when I find a topic that is like, you're asking about it in the comments or YouTube showing me you want it, that's what I'm gonna put into that little feature series. So what would you like to see in the feature series? Uh, what do you think I should do next with Wolfredo? Let me know in the comments, drop a like if you liked the video, it really helps the channel overall. Uh, and if you wanna see more of this channel or the other series, drop a subscribe as well. Hit the bell if you wanna see it, uh, be one of the first to see it. And that will do for today's survivors. Until next time, keep safe out there in the end times, and I hope to see you in the next video.